Example two is a descending motif on each string, but you ascend up through this pentatonic scale. I'll demonstrate. So it has an interesting sound. You hear the scale going up, but you're still hearing these little descending passages. Let me just play it against the track in its straightforward form. So now a little bit is going to go a long ways. It's very important that you don't just play these patterns by themselves because it's going to sound very predictable. Right away, as soon as you can execute this, then you want to start juggling your things around different ways. So if we just simply view this as a descending motif, high-low, on each string, we're free to go to any string we want. I can pick it. I can pull off. I can sweep pick along with the pull-offs. So I have a lot of possibilities here. So it's very important that you just dig into this. You won't see all the possibilities in two minutes, in five minutes, or in ten minutes. But if you get this idea of being free to go to any of the six strings with this high-low pattern, you're going to have some interesting lines. And then juggle it in with your normal playing. Remember, if you just play this pattern, it's going to sound like that pattern. you got to mix it up with the other things that you already play. Now in the next example, we're going to flip this pattern around. 